Jamaica. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think this is where we'd be going next. Oh, look at that glitch. Look at the outfit going right through the wood. <laughs> Ezio's outfit cheesing. Joseph Palmer retired to Jamaica, somewhere around this castle. Faulkner said the scroll would likely have ended up in Lord Lewis Hutchinson's private museum. This episode is going to be fun. This place has seen much evil. Yeah, this castle isn't in good condition, that's for sure. Maybe it used to be nice, but right now it looks like crap. It looks like those houses that are selling for dirt cheap because you got to fix everything inside. I wouldn't want to know how much it would cost to repair this place. Too much dead wood. Look at that. Bushes inside on the second floor. Oh my goodness. Nature just took over this place. Nature taking this land right back. Taking all this wood right back. <laughs> Hutchinson's personal museum. Kid Scroll must be here somewhere. Let's see where this clue leads us. And there's a lot of treasure chests in this one. They're all over the place. Got to keep my eyes open. So now what am I supposed to do? Oh, there goes another clue and there's another one right straight ahead. And this outfit looks nice from the back. From the front, it kind of looks ah, But from the back, it looks dope. Looks pretty beastly. So now what? What is this? Is this eagle vision? In the past? Shot must have come from the balcony. That vision was crazy right there. That was eagle vision in the past. Connor is a boss. He can see what happened in the past with that eagle vision. And they're giving us another timer. Why are they giving us a timer to do this? That doesn't make much sense, does it? Is this place going to fall and crumble just like every place, just like everywhere else we've been so far? The killer must have chased his prey, but through where? And where am I supposed to go to get that treasure chest? I know you saw it when I was climbing. I know you saw that treasure chest just lighting up. There it is, right there. There's a whole, we're, we're getting rich. 22,000 pounds, I'm getting rich in Jamaica. Jamaica must be where it's at. Look at all this. More clues to analyze. What is he going to find out next? The mechanism of the mask is broken. So the mask had some kind of secret passageway, huh? Like Achilles back up, up. There goes another clue back here. What will this clue tell us? There's a gun missing. Hmm, that's a very good clue, huh? A gun missing. Oh, it's the gun that that guy was using. So what is the significance of this clip right here? Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh. So this ego vision in the past is telling us everything. It's telling us exactly where to go and what to do. This is very nice. So let's open up this secret passageway and let's get let's get that that treasure. I want that treasure. Do I have to do any more of this stuff? Any more of this eagle vision? And I got to look out for that treasure chest now. That thing was playing music. That broken <laughs> it was broken, but it was still making some music. It wants to make me an intro video. Intro music video. 
I bet that chest is down here somewhere. There we go. I was trying to drop down, but it wouldn't let me. Now, where is that chest? Well, there's definitely not a chest right here, that's for sure. So it's got to be down here somewhere. Where is it? Hmm, this is a mystery. Oh, you could just slide. Look at that slip and slide, baby. You could just slide right under that thing. Okay. Making so much money out here. This is nice. I should have done this earlier. I do not understand how anyone could live here. Small wonder Hutchinson went mad. This place feels mad. This place feels kind of creepy. I don't know if I'd want to explore this place in real life by myself. I mean, look at that. Why, why are there two eyes right there? It looks like we're back to square one, right? Isn't this right at the start? Because on the left, that's where we were before, right? And we climbed up that. We followed the light. More clues. A clock. Oh, there's more clues. There's clues everywhere right here. So there's a total of three clues. Okay. So something tells me something's up with that clock. So let me let me click that last. There's the gun. So I guess the guy put the gun there. That guy that shot the gun, maybe he got down here somehow. Dropped the gun right there. Now what is this? That looks like some blood in a scary movie. Dragging somebody on the floor. So I guess we go to the clock and see what the clock is all about, right? Hmm. Something is about to go down. And I think it's with that clock. I think as soon as I touch that clock, I think somebody's going to come out of somewhere. Some ghost. I'm going to have to fight a ghost. Let's see what happens. Here we go. And the time on the clock is... Yeah, that's another thing. You might need to remember the time on that clock right there. Because maybe that's important to... We'll see. He analyzes the clock. And what does he think? Oh, another one of these moments. Okay, so we've seen this before. You're going to shoot him again. You shot him again. He gets away. And then what does he do? Oh, he comes out through the painting. He shoots the guy again. Oh, he got beasted on. He lays the gun down. And then what does he do? Then he drags him. Okay, so he's he's hiding the evidence. And the clock. Oh, look, the clock is. What is that? Seven. What, what was that? Seven o'clock? Eight o'clock? Ten o'clock? Or actually it was. No, it was. There must be some clues around that can help me with this. Okay, that hand was there, and that hand was at the... Yup, mm-hmm. Look at that cheat code. Ha-ha. <laughs> ah. Solve the riddle in a minute. I solved that riddle in like five seconds. I hit him with that shot clock cheese. <laughs> that was a real shot clock cheese right there. That's brutal. You didn't have to throw the guy there down there like that. I mean, you already dragged him here. You didn't have to do that. So let me go down there and see what's up. Wow, there's a lot of dead guys down here. It looks like it looks like they were throwing people down here all the time. That was a tradition. Close to a tree kissed by fire. What kind of clue is that? Close to a tree kissed by fire. Let's see if I can make up my own. Close to a noob kissed by another noob. <laughs> Close to a noob kissed by somebody that didn't see me. Ah, what do you make of it? They all appear to be parts of the same piece of leather. It lies under the eagle's bed near the wolf's abode. Close to a tree kissed by fire and abreast the rock that does not fit. And a route to an island. The symbols remain elusive. That's Oak Island. I've sailed past it half a hundred times. 
A forgettable isle, to say the least. The location seems to be the easy part. Aye. And we'll be waiting for you the moment you want to get after it. You actually found something? Ha! <laughs> I'm a little on edge, Captain. The prospect of Captain Kidd's treasure and the mysteries that lie with it have me a trifle spooked. Stay your anxiety. It is likely only treasure. I thought the same thing, but considering what the man went through to hide it, I'm not so sure. All those scrolls lead us to the belly of this remote island. Awful out of the way, Captain. What was Kidd hiding for cripe's sake? I do not know, but I am intrigued to find out. Remember what was written. Close to a tree kissed by fire, near the wolf's abode, under the eagle's bed and the rock that does not fit. Whatever that means. Do you think there might be landmarks? Possibly. All right, so we got our four pieces of the map. Looks like we got four green areas. We need to investigate the eagle vision, letting me know where I got to go. There. Bro, what the heck is this? Oh, I see what you got to do. All you got to do is just turn these things. Got it. That is easy. Not bad at all. Okay. So is the next one going to be just like that? Up in the tree? Are we just going to do a whole bunch of stuff like that? Just moving around a little holographic image? So I guess we're using... That eagle vision to look in the past again. Because there's no way that this was set up by the kid guy. This is just me trying to find out about what kid did. Got it. Oh, this one's easy. Look, there's three things. All you got to do is point it at the three trees right there. Done. Simple. Easy as pie. Easy as cake. Why do people say that easy as pie, easy as cake? I bet you don't even know how to make a pie or make a cake. Whoever came up with that saying so what am i going to be looking at this time in the water what's the design going to look like that is it oh that's easy look how big that rock is all you got to do is turn that thing got it easy as pie that was easy if you got one of those buttons hit that button right there that was easy so this is the last one and i got three minutes 20 seconds left did this pretty fast i didn't need five minutes to do this this is really easy and again they have an optional objective that's timed why is this timed i don't know that is it okay i'm guessing that big circle is the one that goes over that rock right there and then yep there it is there. now give me the treasure i'm tired of all this nonsense give me the treasure already i know where it is you figured it out. Oh, well, that's why you're the captain. Even that guy is amazed how fast we figured that out. <laughs> that was easy. All right, now give me what I came for. Oh, look, look at this shot clock cheese. Making me wait again to get the treasure. Why must I wait to get the treasure? Come here, wolf. Ugh. I can't wait to splash down on the rest of these wolves. Only two more. Come here, come here, splash them. Ah, why can't I splash the wolves? Ooh, that had to hurt right there. That wolf was like, <laughs> that wolf was, he, he cried right there. Come on, wolf. Come out of the forest. Come here. You know you want to get killed. Come here, you're almost here. All right, get splashed. Oh, look at that invisible wall. Ooh, that cry, the, the way he did it. Arr, that was just mean. I'm not even gonna skin it. That's a waste of time. A ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> ain't nobody got time to skin that wolf. I gotta go and get what I came for. That's a bloody big piece of stone. Any ideas? Perhaps some gunpowder would move it. A nice big explosion, eh? Might do the job. 
We'll do well to scare away any more blasted wolves, that's for certain. Who are about to make a splash? I ought to be enough. Nah, I don't think that's enough. You should have had three. Oh, never mind. They got splash. I was about to say I wanted them to get three. They already had nine of those things. They were definitely prepared for that explosion, for that splash. Splash. It's Splash City. Why didn't those riddles, why didn't those maps just say, take us to Splash City? Then I would have known where to go, right? Splash City, wherever you can make it splash the most with host. <laughs> This should be fun, you know, climbing. You already, you already know this cave is going to collapse. I was already in a cave before in one of those optional objective missions. And that thing went down to the ground as soon as I got the treasure. So I got to grab whatever I got to grab fast because I expect that it's going to do the same thing. You already know what's going to happen in this game when you played it for a while. I'm going to have to do some smooth editing. It is dark down here. You can't see a thing. You can't see anything. I'm going to have to adjust the brightness. Or else you're going to have to adjust the brightness on your computer monitor. And you wouldn't want to do that. You wouldn't want to mess with the settings you already have for everything else. Just so you could watch this one video. Smooth editing incoming. And here it is. What, what 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 is that? This is what Captain Kidd suffered over for so long. Astonishing. A ring? Look at that cheese. As soon as I grabbed the ring, it just crippled. The whole cave just crippled. As soon as I took the ring. The ring was holding the cave together. Wow. Only 10 seconds. This is cutting it close. Got it. I'm out of there. There he is. <coughs> Thought we lost you there for a moment, Captain. Are you all right? Yes. I think so. What happened down there? What did you find? That's it. A single gold coin. There was nothing else. Was there cash pilfered already? Ah! What the devil? I do not know how it works, but I now understand why Kid valued it so. What kind of Matrix technology was that? It just pushed that thing to the side? Hmm. Interesting piece of equipment there. That's a curious little piece, isn't it? Well, I've worked my incredible and bottomless magic, and that little thing is, in fact, of first civilization origin. It seems they use them as personal shields. It gives off a rather powerful electromagnetic field, explains its aversion to metal, also explains why Kid's legend tells of him being invincible. Having that trinket in your pocket would easily bend a musket ball's trajectory. Nifty little thing, really. Anyway, just thought you want to know. Please do carry on. So you mean to tell me that I'm going to be dodging bullets like the Matrix because of that ring that I got? <laughs> that is great. I'm going to be cheesing the rest of this game. <laughs>